Ooh, Ampar, can we zoom in? I think. Uh, yeah, that totally is. It is, look at that. Let me go grab uh, Mike, can we stop Yeah, this Mike's going to want to see this. Can we stop the ship? Yeah. This is an uh, interesting looking one, too. Can we frame out for lasers? Uh, getting a bunch now. Very nice. There doesn't seem to be any handles on it, yeah. which is bizarre. Is that one buried a little it bit? It could be. There? Could be these uh, one handle jars. Some of them only had one handle. Let's uh, uh, let me get a different angle on it. Can we zoom old. out a little bit? Just a little bit. It is old. Good. Looks like it's covered with a lot of sediment. It is also covered with a lot of sediment. But a lot of that could be bioturbation. There's another one there. We a lot zoom of in. Oh, very nice shot. Thank you. Oh, it looks like it's in good shape too, huh? Yeah, the uh, the mouth of it I thought might have been broken off, but it looks like that's actually the mouth. There's Can no we not much of a lift to, to it. Bearing zero nine zero. Oh. Uh, it's like an amphora. Oh hey, Mike's in the house just in time to see this archaeology. Oh Phoenician, he says. Um, the ones that I'm basing that judgment on f are from the two shipwrecks that Ballard found in, off of Ashkelon, Israel in uh, 1999. And those are Iron Age, so like There's somebody living in this so. one. But uh, I don't, I think a lot of them are this style, so I'm not, I, I can't tell for sure, but I think that they're at least Near Eastern, if not Phoenician. Uh, lobster uh, handles, there we go. Little crab living in there. Snap, snap. Oh, can we slurp the crab out of there? <laughs> I'm kidding. All right. I'm kidding. There's a little something Seriously. living on top of it, too. It's like a spider. Okay, zoom out. Just frame the whole thing up.